Hello dear friends, this will come sooner or later in my opinion, but it is more and more necessary every day because of the crisis. Opinion piece. Adept Javeli. Javeli comes from joy. We are in a sabbatical year. This would force the cancellation of debts. This would heal the world economy. This tradition began in Babylon. It is practiced on the brink of a depression. It is the sabbatical year prescribed in the Torah. Coincides with the Jewish tradition Shemitah. They would blow the ram's shofar horn. It would last until September 26, 2022. It would be the only way to avoid a depression. Everyone owes money to everyone. Stock market plunge follows seven year cycle. Multilateral debt relief initiative. Christine Lagarde believes the proposal is illegal. Strait of Hormuz blockade could crash stock market. Let's start. All ancient cultures of mankind from Samar, Babylon and Assyria onwards had a tradition of following arable land every seven years to regenerate crops and restarting their economy in the same way, making what is called a clean slate of or financial reset. Jewish culture is not an exception but a continuation of this ancient custom. All debts had to be paid off periodically according to this tradition. Everyone owes money to everyone and not everyone can pay what they owe. So a financial jubilee would be the solution to free us from the button of debt. The current Jewish year of Shemitah began on September 7th 2021 and will last until September 26, 2022. In ancient Babylon, a newly enthroned king would declare a jubilee erasing the depths of the population. In modern America, there is a faint echo of that idea called jubilee light. The idea that that debt can grow faster than the ability to pay until it throws a society out of balance was understood thousands of years ago according to michael hudson an economist and historian a historian and it worked he says in quotes societies that wrote off debt enjoyed a stable growth for thousands of years Proposals. The Yabli South America's network is the convergence of organizations and activists of the continent that address different issues according to the defense of human rights, environment, and life. Its main objective is the struggle for the cancellation of the debt, both external and ecological, that prevails in the countries of the region. The heavily indebted poor countries form a group that benefits from the so-called HIPC initiative created by the G8 for countries with high public debt. Subsequently, a different but operationally linked initiative was launched, the Multilateral Debt Relief Initiative, which was approved in June 2005 by the G8 finance ministers at the 31st G8 summit in Glynigols, Scotland. Proposal for debt forgiveness in European Union countries. In 2021, a request was published by 100 European economists, led by the French economist Thomas Piketty, asking the European Central Bank to forgive public debt. The proposal proposed a contract between the 
European countries and the ECB, whereby the member states of the European Union should invest the amount forgiven in ecological and social reconstruction programs. For the petitioners, this would be the best way to reform the debt and deficit criteria. They considered it necessary to restructure public debt in view of the problems it was causing in some of the countries of the European Union, an area where there is monetary union, but not fiscal union, which is causing great imbalances. Pres the president of the ECB, Christine Lagarde, has considered the proposal illegal, in quotes, with the European treaties. Biblical origin. According to Deuteronomy 15.16, every seven years you shall forgive debts, and this is the way you shall do it. You shall forgive your debtor, everyone who has who has borrowed from his hand, wherewith he has bound his neighbor. You shall no longer sue your neighbor or your brother, for the Lord has proclaimed the forgiveness of debts. At the end of every seven years, you shall celebrate the year of re remission. The idea of the year of remission is that every creditor will remit any debt he owes to his neighbor and brother when God's year of remission comes. If you had any claim against your brother for a debt, you must waive it. Leviticus 25.8.11.8 In quotes. You are to count seven weeks of years. That is seven years multiplied by seven, which will give a total of 49 years. And on the tenth day of the seventh month, which is the day of remission, you shall sound the ram's horn throughout the land. In the fiftieth year, you shall declare it a holy year. It shall be a year of deliverance, and in it you shall proclaim liberty or freedom for all the inhabitants of the land. Clean slate. In a nutshell, this means wiping the slate clean or wiping the This is the same. It means recognizing that when debts grow too large, debtors fall irremediably into poverty. And in these conditions, the only way to restore economy balances is to eliminate bad debts, to do a debt jubilee. The wealth jubilee comes from the Hebrew word Yobel or trumpet, because according to the ancient Mosaic law, the shofar or ram's horn was blown to announce the year of the Lord, the year in which personal debts were to be cancelled. These kings were not act acting idealistically in forgiving debts. What they were trying to do was to prevent the city states from losing their labor force, since debtors were forced to work for private mon money lenders when they fell into slavery. And also, many debtors fled to other cities just as the Greeks immigrated after their debt crisis, and kingdoms without labor were prone to attack by rival countries. The parallels with the present time are remarkable, but no one knows for sure what will actually happen. Economic Stimulus A debt jubilee is when a large country or organization cancels debt and erases it from the public record. Simply put, it would be debt forgiveness on a large scale. Some economists believe in enacting a jubilee as a method of avoiding a depression. When debt-driven spending is the catalyst for stimulating the economy during difficult times, concern about long-term economy stability increases. Historically, calls for a debt jubilee 
advocate when nations have been on the brink of an economic depression. Countries have implemented large-scale debt relief in the past to stimulate the economy. For example, Iceland wrote off and subsidied a large amount of mortgage debt after the Great Recession hit the country in late 2008. The real controllers of the global economic and financial system could carry out their Shemita plans without any threat or exposure, because of how secretive and surreptitious their planning has always been, but all that has changed in the internet age because the world is now a different place. Major stock market declines are associated with this seven-year cycle. Given the regularity of the seven-year Shemites, it is prudent to be wise in our investments. The global recession is real. Given the impending hyperinflation, the global overprinting of money and the artificial uptrend in the stock market, billions of dollars in interest-free government debt had been handed out, which in turn inflated all assets. The dissolution of established currencies is also possible due to the overprinting of fiat money and the strengthening of digital currencies. Sabbatical year. The Jewish Shemitah or sabbatical year is the year prescribed as the agricultural year of liberation in the Torah, the Pentateuch or the five books of Moses in the Bible. It occurs in a seven-year cycle. The authorities that prohibit traditional agriculture in Israel allow hydroponic greenhouse farming so that the plants are not connected to the soil. As a result, the use of hydroponics has been increasing in farming communities. The sabbatical year of Shemitah literally means liberation in Hebrew and is also called the seventh sabbatical year or Sabbath of the land. It is the seventh year of the seven agricultural cycles mandated by the Torah. During Shemitah, the land is left fallow, and all agricultural activity, including plowing, sowing, pruning, and harvesting, is forbidden by Judith's law. <coughs> Other farming techniques, such as watering, fertilizing, weeding, spraying, planning and moving may be done only as a preventive measure, not to enhance, enhance the growth of trees or other plants. In addition, any fruit of or grass that grows on its own and where unattended is considered unowned and may be picked by anyone. A variety of laws also apply to the sale, consumption and disposal of Shemitah products. Chapter 25 of the book of Leviticus promises abundant harvests to those who observe Shemitah and describes its observance as a test of its religious faith. The seventh rested. This seven, seventh recurring year is set aside for rest and release. This means that agricultural lands are not to be planted or harvested, and debt is to be forgiven. In that season, private land holdings are to be opened to the needy, and the stored stable foods are to be freely redistributed and made accessible to all. The logic behind this is that the agricultural and debt cycle should be broken so that the land can recover after six years of continuous cultivation and harvesting. Very few truly understand the difference between the Shemitah and the Super Shemitah, but nevertheless the difference is as great as black and white. While Shemitah is a human-driven affair, the Super Shemitah unfolds through divine ordination, especially would a super shemita be unstoppable because it is natural law? 
condonation. Condone means to forgive or cancel a debt. The forgiveness of a debt, also called remission of a debt or debt waiver, is the legal and economic act by which a natural or legal person who is a creditor or of another decides to waive his right releasing the debt from payment. The concept of debt forgiveness has been used since antiquity until the 19th century and refers to national debts, both internal and external debts. At the end of the 20th century, the concept of debt forgiveness or cancellation came to refer mainly to the external debt of the settled world. It is to say heavily indebted poor countries which began to grow and become unpayable with the various economic and financial crises. It also applies to individuals in developed countries who have been left unemployed, evicted or with unsustainable and unpayable loans by different crises and more generally by the Great Recession of 2008 caused by the economic and real estate bubbles. Various organizations and NGOs are calling for the partial or total cancellation of the foreign debt or third world countries. Bar Barbage Fallow land is arable land that is not so for one or more years to rest. Fallow is an agricultural technique by which arable land is left unseated for one or more cycles. Its objective is to recover and store organic macada and humidity together with avoiding pathogens waiting for them to finish their cycle without being able to renew themselves due to the lack of available food. Following consists of leaving a plot of land to rest for one or several years before cultivating it again. When it is cleaned by removing weeds, thorns and the weeds, then it is said that it is followed. That is, the plot is tilled in order to have it ready for planting. It is a technique used in crop rotation to replenish the nutrients and chemical composition of the soil before an, another harvest, so that the balance of the elements that make up the soil can be restored. During the time it remains uncultivated, the soil is subjected to a series of tillage operations in order to improve, to improve its predisposition to cultivation. Likewise, in Amazonian and Andean regions, it was used as part of the agricultural work to let the soil rest so that it wouldn't be overexploited. In Europe, it began to be common in the Middle Ages, where farmland was cultivated with a periodicity in which rest and cultivation were alternated, so that during rest periods the plow was used to practice following. A part of the farmland was left uncultivated, but the plow was passed over, thus piling up the wild herbs, which in turn served as fertilizer and increasing the humidity so that the soil would recover the minerals that had been lost during cultivation. Even today, this technique is practiced by hundreds of indigenous communities in tropical regions. Pressure on the land from intensive agro-industry is putting increasing pressure on these communities to abandon this historical practice of balanced land resource use. Following is an agricultural process that allows the soil's qualities to be preserved. There are two types of fallow, tiled and untiled. Within the tiled fallow are the chemical tiled fallow in which weeds are eliminated by means of herbicides and the mechanical tiled fallow which is more effective because it is treated with applications that accelerate the decomposition process by burying the weeds such as disc plowing. 
Breaking news. First, uncontrolled rocket crashed into the moon on Friday, March 4th, causing a crater. Second, look at the water. The world is witnessing the dismantling of the new world order. Third, cyber warfare is about to break out in Europe and Russia. Black hats will disguise attacks as coming from various sources to incriminate certain countries. Fourth, the dark side is panicking. They can't stop the white hats from restoring their money laundering operation. The war is real, but the information about the war is false. USA. Capitol Poli Police issue emergency statement on People's Convoy Truckers protest. Second, there are currently 111 container ships floating off California ports waiting to be unloaded, any record. Third, Biden considers traveling to Saudi Arabia to ask for more oil as he shuts down domestic drilling. Joe Biden may travel to Saudi Arabia to ask them for more oil and the same as he shuts down domestic pipelines and freezes new drilling contracts. Biden's advisors are currently in Venezuela asking for oil from the Maduro regime. Europe. First, volunteers from all over Europe offer their help to Ukrainian, Ukrainian refugees. Second, Germany receive, receives 100 Jewish minors who are refugees from the war in Ukraine. Third, the food crisis is intensifying as more countries stop exports. European farmers are furious. Fourth, thousands of shipping containers peel up in random locations across the UK. Fifth, no winners with sanctions. Eight and a half million households may end up in full poverty being forced to pay more than $4,000 a year to hit their home amid Europe's energy crisis, which has been further exacerbated by sanctions. Russia. First, Fitch considers the risk of default in Russia to be imminent. Second, US works a loophole in cryptocurrency linked sanctions to apply to Russia. Third, they give 45 days for companies to fulfill their contract before embargo against Russia comes in. Fourth, US senators introduce bill to sanction Russian gold purchases. Fifth, will Russia return to the gold standard? Moscow plans to eliminate its 20% tax on individuals buying precious metals at the same time, the patches of dollars will be made more difficult with the tax. Gold would thus become the last lifeline for the threatened private assets of Russian citizens. The boost could pave the way for a return to some kind of gold standard, a historic event. Sixth, it seems that inside Russia, the elite have taken their family to safe places outside the big cities preferably in bunkers. There is a laptop that was found in a military base in Ukraine, Ukraine which many plans, with many plans for an invasion of Russia. China. First, Xi Jinping calls for maximum restraint to avoid the large-scale humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. The priority, he added, is to prevent tensions from escalating or even getting out of control. Second, will China become the world's economic superpower by 2030? Third, Chinese companies that defy Russia sanctions face punishments. Chinese companies that defy sanctions on Russia and Belarus could face devastating actions. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo said, at the same time, she wants the Asian giant that it is not an option to be neutral. Reflections Riders in the Storm by James O'Brien 
BlackRock and Vanguard have a monopoly on all major corporations held by the world's wealthiest families. BlackRock employees have held senior positions in the White House during the Bush, Obama and Biden administrations. BlackRock also developed the computer system used by central banks. Bloomberg referred to BlackRock as the fourth branch of government because of its close relationship with central banks. BlackRock actually lends money to the Federal Reserve and is its chief advisor. Will the Strait of Hormuth be closed by David Lifshultz? As rumors about the Russians cut off, all the world's natural gas and oil except China and that Iran blocked the Strait of Hormuz, excluding China, which could cut off nearly half of the world's oil supply. Iran's Chinese and Russian missiles line Iran's shores off the Strait of Hormuz, which would prevent the passage of any oil tankers if they choose to do so. According to Goldman Sachs, the closure of Hormuz would raise the price of oil to $1,000 a barrel, bringing the cost of 40% of global GDP and collapse the New York Stock Exchange. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.